DJI Action 5 Pro color grade made easy like this here. Let's start. The easiest way to color grade footage from your DJI Action 5 Pro in these simple steps. Stick around to the end for a bonus where I will give you a free LUT from DJI's website to put into your DJI Mimo app and you can color grade your footage with the press of a button. Okay, so what you seeing in my timeline on my editing software is log footage that was shot from the DJI Action 5 Pro camera. So the reason for shooting in D-Log M 10-bit log footage is because it gives you all the information in your footage that information such as your color, your hue, your contrast, your dynamic range, basically every bit of information that your footage have when you shoot in D-Log mode, you are getting by shooting in that log mode. At the end of the video, I will give you a simple quick fix bonus of how to just drag and drop and color grade your footage from your action camera. So what I'm doing here now is I'm about to apply the LUT and the LUT stands for look up table. The Vinci Resolve have two versions. It have a free version that have mostly everything that this studio version that you're looking at have. However, the studio version gets just a little bit more comprehensive and have a little bit advanced feature when it comes to color grade. So if you see this tab that I'm circling with my mouse here, this is your color grade. So what you see in here, these are your color grading tools here. So you can see your temperature, your tint, your contrast, your pivot, your mid details, color boost, shadows, and highlights. These are the most important things, your shadow and your highlights and your saturation. So if you look over here, you'll see the waveform. The waveform come in parade. You got the waveform, you have the vector scope, you have the histogram, and you have the CIE over here. So I always use the parade or I either use the waveform. So if you look here, you will see the higher you go to this footage here, the more clipped out your footage will be, which means overexposed. And if you look at the bottom part of this right here, if you lift your black levels up too high, that means your black levels will be too lifted. So I will show you an example using this before I show you the color grading that I'm gonna do is very simple. So you can either do S curve. This is an S curve here. So, so you see if I go up over the S curve here, look at the picture. I'm pushing the F curve and you see that it's clipping cause I'm at the top. If I keep going up, look at the sky and everything, it's gonna get even overexposed. So you see that? So you see that is all the way to the ceiling of overexposure. So I can drop that back down like that, or I can leave it up and I can just reset it and it'll reset there. Now let's look at the black levels. You see this here? These are the black levels. Now you come over here, this is your highlights and this is your shadows. Now, then that you can also mess with your black levels here on the S curve. But the simplest way for new beginners to get it just mess with your highlights. So your highlights, if you go over, you see this here? Notice your highlights, you're going closer to that black. So if we go to the shadows and you go down, now you really get into the black. So you don't want it to be overexposed and you don't want it to be underexposed. So let me let you see the whole vector scope right here, the whole waveform. So if you look at this part and look at this part, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the shadow right here and that's in the negatives. So look at your image, pay attention to this here. Okay, then your saturation. You can either go down the lower you go 
the less saturation, the higher you go, the more saturation. And that's oversaturated right there in the to color. So the Action 5 have a tendency of shifting more oversaturated than undersaturated. So it'll be a wise thing to just pay attention to your saturation. However, with this tool that I'm going to give you at the end that DJI give you, which is a LUT, which is a lookup table, all you have to do is just put it in your DJ Mimo app and get the footage and just click overlay and it will just color grade your footage for you right there and you good to go. So let's get started into this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to the timeline right here. So look at the pole, the grass, the skies, and the surrounding areas. This is all we're going to do. Once you get this lookup table, which is free, and I will drop the link in my video, this is all you have to do. Click on this little cogwheel down here. This is the gear icon. You're going to click on that. You're going to go down to your LUTs. You're going to go up here. You're going to click on color management. Down here, you will see lookup tables. Wherever you download your LUTs, that's where you go get your LUTs from, and you'll just click update list. So I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go to DJI's website for this particular free LUT. I'm just going to copy and paste it. I will drop the link to you, and we'll get that. This is the LUT that we will download. If you're on Mac, you will click that one, you will get that download there, your windows, you will get this one and you will click download here. So when you download that, what you're going to get is this here. You will go to wherever you downloaded it. So I downloaded mines to my downloads. So back to this here, all you have to do is go to open up folder and it'll pull this up here. I'm showing you here and I'm going to click on my downloads which is I've already clicked on and you will look through all the folders. All these are lookup tables. And this is the DJI Osmo that I just showed you. This is the one that I got here. All you will do is click on that. Once you click on this here, just click update list. Once you update your list, you will save. Now here's the magic and the bonus at the end that I was going to give you. So we're going to go back to the color page. You see this node here? The, all we're going to do is right click. We're going to go down to LUTs. Remember DJI, Osmo, Prologue. Let's right here and watch this. Once I click this here, boom, there it is there. It's already color graded. If you see too much color in there, you can adjust your color here. The highlights, what I was telling you about, you can fix that if you want to. But this is a pretty much drag and drop fix to color grading it's very simple and that's all you have to do and now you can just play your footage i'll make it big for you and there it is so that that is before the lut i'm going to show you before the lut and i'm going to show you after the lut i'm going to exit i'm going to reset this right quick now i'm going to put it back in full mode and you see what the look look like now right no lut at all Look how flat that is right there, but that's supposed to be flat. It's just because you shot it in log. Now, once you apply that LUT, now watch what happens. Look at this picture here. Now, look at the LUT. So basically what I'm going to do, just to make it more simpler for you, once you apply the LUT here, you can just right click this right here and click on grab steel. And it'll go to your gallery here. And you can just keep this here and this will help you with all your projects. So you can just reset this now. All you have to do is grab this here and bring this over here. And now look, voila, that's all you have to do. And that's it. That was the free bonus. That's all you have to do. If you have any questions, leave a comment, the comment section. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button so I can keep making these videos like, share, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.